you truly need to give yourself more credit for how much you have grown over the past two to three years because you've gone through a lot no scratch confirmation you've gone through a lot of trials and tribulations you have hit rock bottom more than once over the past you know three or so years and you felt as if it was just like one thing after another it's like like I'm having this image of a person standing at the edge of a cliff and then they're knocked down to the bottom of that like of that valley of that dip you know that that abyss they they fall into the abyss that dark abyss and they hit rock bottom and it's like once they crawl their way from out of rock bottom and they get back to the top of the cliff they get knocked down once again and they have to crawl their way back up to get to the top of the cliff and this time they're not knocked down to rock bottom but this time which is like the the third time after they've climbed up after they've been knocked down because they were like knocked down twice this third time you had a bunch of like it's like you had to battle a bunch of enemies or monsters or in this case demons you know the spiritual aspect just you had to fight all of these dark demonic spirits that were after you trying to tear you down trying to break you down trying to exhaust you trying to just take away all of your energy just trying to destroy you really trying to beat you down so much that you wouldn't have the strength to get up and move forward into your purpose along your journey with your walk with God you're increasing in your faith increasing in your prayer life increasing in your awareness of thyself you know, walking in your purpose, doing what God has called you to do, walking more in your healing, healing those traumas, healing those wounds, unleashing all of that pain that was weighing so heavily on you and releasing the burden. You know, you were doing whatever it is that you could to get better, to make yourself feel better, to become better mentally emotionally spiritually physically financially you were doing everything that you could to get yourself into a better position internally and externally but what was happening was that you were fighting and healing and growing and evolving while you were in the midst of a war a spiritual war like yes there is a spiritual war going on around us but in your individual life you had a massive warfare that you were up against because i'm hearing massive like that's how spirit wants me to reiterate it is that is not to sugarcoat it is not to say like oh it was just something small like no what you went through was not small at all What you endured over these past few years, I'm even hearing like for some of you three to five years, what you have been through over these last few years has not been easy. It's been a massive warfare. It's been a tumultuous time. It's been tumultuous trauma is what I'm also hearing that this was It's not something to take lightly because this wasn't something just very simple that you can just easily get over. No, this was deep. This was a lot. God knows how much you have been through. You were tested like Job. And people have tried to minimize how much you have actually experienced endured and overcame people are trying to invalidate how horrific your experiences were people are trying to people have tried really people have tried not present tense past tense people have tried to 
discredit the growth that you have had and the healing that you have had on yourself because they measure growth and healing in different ways. You see, they expect you to be robotic and to be this to say you're healed and spiritual or just increasing more in your faith. They expected you to just be this all positive love and light person. One that doesn't get angry, doesn't get mad, doesn't show much emotion. They just expected you to just be this perfect person. And no one is perfect, but they had such high standards for you where they expected you to be a certain way to express how you were healed but by you finally expressing your emotions, your righteous anger, your true hurt, by you finally expressing your emotions to release them, which was one of the heal most, most healing things that you have done. People try to look at you as if that's not healing. You're not healed because look at how emotional you are. No, you're more healed when you're able to express the emotion. When you're numb, it's harder for you to heal. When you see them expressing the emotion, that is where the healing is. When you see them numb to their emotions, running from it, not expressing it, not letting it out, being silent about it, suppressing it, that is where there is no healing. You see, they, they've got it all twisted up. They've got it all spun around. And they don't understand that you heal by actually feeling and dealing with your emotions, not by running from them and pushing them to the side or sweeping them under the rug. You see, they thought that if they could just say, I've gotten over this and turn their head from it, that they just are convincing themselves that they have healed when they have not. So they see you expressing yourself and actually truly healing, doing the shadow work the inner work the healing work they saw you actually doing that internal work the work that they were avoiding and they saw how it was helping you they saw how it was opening you up and expanding you they saw how it was evolving you but because they compared themselves to you and how they haven't done the work they tried to discredit you when you've done the most work out of all of them and you've had more spiritual warfare that you were up against than these people. The battles that they were facing have faced throughout their life can't even amount to the battles that you have faced throughout your life. Yours have been this constant battle. They've had phases, but they've had phases where things were fine. Things were going cool. Things were smooth sailing. Yours was just back to back, just difficult phases of your life. And then it was as if stuff kicked it up a notch. These past, you know, five years or so, it's five or seven years. It's like it kicked it up a notch a whole lot. You really were in that fire because God was refining you, refurbishing you, remolding you, rebranding you, reinventing you to reintroduce you. This new, evolved, healed version of yourself you yes you have more healing to to get through but you have done so much work on yourself that you sometimes don't even give yourself enough credit for how much healing work you have had on yourself do not compare yourself to someone else's walk or journey because you see that they are going much further and much faster than you your walk is different your pace is different because you will have your moment, but in your due time, in your due season. You have lessons you have to learn first and more growing that you have to do before you can get to these new levels in life. But the harder the warfare and the slower the pace is, the bigger the abundance and outcome you will have out of all of this. What God is universe spirit is gifting you your divine inheritance is so big that it's going to take a while for it to get into your life it has to gradually make its way in and you have to gradually walk towards it stay the course keep the faith keep walking your journey and know that you are always exactly where you need to be and you always have the free will choice to make a change for better. 
and then God will place